So I've now got the uh, Juntec uh, volt ammeter and temperature meter installed. Uh, and this is the wireless uh, meter. Uh, the wire you can see coming out of the back is just for the power. And that plugs into the uh, cigarette lighter down there. And you can see the voltage it's showing us is 14, uh, sorry, 143.9 for my pack. And if you compare that with the voltage uh, being reported by my BMS, that's 144.1. So you can see only 200 millivolts difference. Uh, so these cheap meters are really remarkably accurate uh, for their cost. Um, so that's all in and, and working. And if we look in the back briefly, we will see it's a rat's nest. You just have to bear with me while I get out. Luckily, the weather's not too bad today. Now remember what I've said about this, this is all just proof of concept when eventually once this is all working and we've sussed out all the circuits etc that we need all this will come out and it will just uh, be back in in a much neater uh, setup. So this is the Juntec meter sort of sensing unit. It's a bit of a pain in the arse, it's not particularly well designed but you can cobble it together, a bit of Dremel work on the case etc. So basically it's, it fits into the battery pack negative lead. It also has a positive connection to the other side of the battery there, that's just to sense the voltage. And there's a 75 millivolt 500 amp shunt in here. And there's also a temperature sensor on the end of this wire, but I haven't put it anywhere yet. Um, I don't particularly need to monitor the battery temperature because they're basically stone cold. Um, so yeah, so that's very useful. So these are the two units that you've already seen before. That's the IPU fooler and that's the BCM fooler resistor in there. So the schematic I published uh, today is basically going to be a combination of these two here. And if you remember the resistor matrix is actually inside the case underneath there. So this will be the super switched low voltage PPP peak power point mode that we're talking about like a semi curs mode so I'm going to make that circuit up possibly this afternoon maybe get to test that tomorrow so initially I haven't got the wireless sensor transmitter yet so I'll just have a little push button switch uh, so activate it uh, and I'll just have it on a piece of wire through there so that's where we are at the moment making progress doing some more work at the moment I'm lugging around half a pack here which is not connected in because that obviously was the other half of that 24 cell block there and it, it would accept 144 volts but it wouldn't accept 175 so we still need to do work on that but this is all work to be done uh, in the future so that's where we are at the minute got the meter so i can see some instant current and voltage readings to do some checking